You are probably working on some other book now, madame. Uh, set in Egypt, perhaps? How thrillingly clever of you to deduce that, oh, Monsieur oh, Forrest. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no. I am here to absorb local colour for my grand opus, Snow on the Sphinx's Face. Frozen enigma turns to incandescent love as this young English girl from Hazelmere, scarcely out of school, melts the barbarous heart of a cruel desert sheep. Somehow, I don't think Monsieur Poirot is a very keen reader of romantic novels, Mother. Mm. Of course he is. Oh, Frenchmen are. They're not afraid of good, strong sex. Unlike, I might say, most of our leading lending libraries. They have banned Salome Otterborn for speaking the truth about men and women. But she goes on nonetheless. The truth, yes. The truth, it's so difficult to tell. Thank you, monsieur. Oh. Well, perhaps you would join me in a tango, uh, mademoiselle. Just a little exercise after dinner. Excuse me. <clears throat> you tango, Colonel. Oh, poorly, I'm afraid, Mrs. Osmond. Then I shall teach you to do it richly, as it was done in old Spain when it was known as the chica, that is to say, with a sensuous erotic dash. Can't you leave us alone? 